perfect. Reykjavik is awesome, but can you afford it? Hello! I'm in Reykjavik and since you're watching this video I assume that you wanna be here as well. But let's face it, Reykjavik and generally Iceland is pretty expensive. So yes, there are three things to do here in Reykjavik and I'm going to present you the top five of them. So let's go! Harpa Concert Hall The first time I visited Reykjavik and saw this building, I was like, oh my god, I'd love to see that building, but I definitely can't afford it. Well, guess what? It's free. It is called Harpa and serves as a concert hall and a conference center. The building features a distinctive color glass facade inspired by the basalt landscape of Iceland. Harpa was designed by the Danish firm Henning Larsen Architects in cooperation with the Danish Icelandic artist Olafur Eliasson. The structure consists of a steel framework clad with geometric shaped glass panels of different colors. Construction started in 2007 and was concluded in 2011 when the first concert took place here. But apart from all these facts that you can also find in Wikipedia, Harpa is a masterpiece of modern architecture that you cannot miss while you're in the capital of Iceland. Take your time while you're here and explore every floor in order to properly admire this Nordic gem. Now Tholsvik Geothermal Beach The first thing that shocked me when I was about to visit Iceland is that everyone was suggesting that I should bring a swimming suit with me and I was like What the f***? It's on the Arctic Circle, why do I need a swimming suit? Well, because there are hot pots and swimming pools literally everywhere in the country and Reykjavik is no exception to that so since it's the capital, some free hot pots wouldn't be enough they needed something more than that. And they created a geothermal beach right into the city that everybody can enjoy for free. Let's pause here for a second. This is the face of a person who's freezing. And that's because the water wasn't warm at all, as apparently the free geothermal beach operates only in the summertime. If you want to visit at any other season, the water is cold as hell and you have to pay in order to use the hot tub and the facilities. So keep that in mind. All right, back to the video now. The geothermal beach, which is called Naut Holzvik, is a true local paradise with golden suns, a hot tub, steam bath and a nice view. Generally, it's a very distinctive feature of Icelandic tradition that they all socialize into these pots and pools. For example, you can go to any hot pot to soak your body and at some point realize that Bjork is casually sitting next to you. That's actually happened to a friend of mine. So don't forget your swimming suit in order to enjoy Naut Holzvik and any other hot pot in Iceland. Grota Lighthouse One of the most scenic spots of the entire city is Grota Lighthouse. It's located at the northwesternmost point of Reykjavik and If you're into photography then grab your camera and come here on golden hour and then it's kinda guaranteed that you're gonna get great shots. It exists at the northwesternmost point of Reykjavik and the lighthouse guides the ships since 1897 and was connected to electricity at 1956. You can walk, run or cycle the paths around there, enjoy the peacefulness of the landscape and do some bird watching next to the ocean. Historical records show that in the 16th century a farm existed on the site, which is probably where it got its name from, as Grota is the old word for a wheat grinding mill. Although it went through a period of abandonment in the 19th century, Grota is now one of the capital's most visited sites, attracting both locals and foreign visitors throughout the year. 
When you're actually on site, it feels like a cinematic orchestra playing in your brain. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Hot pot for your feet. Just a few meters further than Grotta Lighthouse, there is a hidden spot that even the locals are not aware of and you should definitely check out. This is a tiny hot pot that you can soak your feet inside the hot water and enjoy the view of the ocean and the fjords. That's totally surrealistic, totally. The water in here is like really hot, I would say like more than 45 more. It might not look great as you watch it through your screen, but I definitely guarantee you that it's worth it. You feel serene as you gaze the uninterrupted view in front of your eyes and it is a unique experience that you cannot find anywhere else. In order to come here, just before you arrive at Grotta Lighthouse, there is this small structure. The pot is right next to it on the right, next to the sea. After a bunch of surrealistic experiences that I had here in Iceland, I have to give the first prize to this food hot pot. I mean, like, even saying it is kind of surrealistic. Get ready to get your feet wet and enjoy with it. Free activities. A great way to have fun in Reykjavik is to attend one or more of the countless free activities that the city offers. More specifically, free art exhibitions, live concerts, stand-up comedy and many many more. For example, these days that I was into the city, I watched this free stand-up comedy show, which was hilarious. The only thing you have to do is go online and search for these events beforehand. I used the website whatson.is slash Iceland events and I bet there are more of those. It's really easy and you can find all kinds of activities like free city tours, northern lights tours, street art tours and so on. The entrance is free on those events, but sometimes you might need to pay for a beer or for a tip to your tourist guide. But to be honest, I think it's pretty fair. So get your ass out there and enjoy the city with any kind of free activity you can find. So these were my top 5 suggestions of free things to do in the city of Reykjavik. If you're a local or generally if you really know the city better than me, please write down in the comments below other spots that everybody can enjoy for free so that everybody can read them and just go and do it. And if you enjoyed this video then share it with somebody that you think that might be interested and please subscribe to the channel as this will help me to create more content like that. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy your life. Bye! Like is there anybody here that doesn't know what a black horse recording is? I, I'll explain it. It's a recording of pilots talking to each other as a plane is crashing down. And that, yes, uh, and then by the end of the clip, everybody dies. <laughs> and you can listen to it on YouTube. Like, it was kind of fucked up to me. Like, YouTube to me is just like videos of puppies. I gotta look at all these cute puppies. Or you can learn how to make a pie. <laughs> or listen to the sound of death. Just something for everybody <laughs> on YouTube. Like, holy shit, YouTube, you've changed. But I clicked it. <laughs> I'm a curious cat.